Hi guys, this is Tom from Distorted Order, and today I will be showing you how to create a clock from a red comparator. First thing I'm going to do is just uh, lay a comparator down, and uh, as you can see that there's uh, four sides to this device. Um, the side here that has the, the little button, the little short button, uh, that is the output. And for demonstration, I will just put a lamp here. The main input is the side that has these two posts. And to power the device, we'll just put a redstone torch right here. You can see that makes the lamp light up. Now to turn this into a clock, we're going to be using feedback to create a, you know, a loop that will cause this to oscillate and turn on and off. And for control, we'll put this little, uh, you know, standard redstone repeater here. And then we'll complete the loop like so. Now, right now, it's not doing, you know, any kind of oscillation because the strength of these two signals is the same. If we put it into subtractive mode, it'll subtract this signal from this signal, and then we'll get zero, and that will turn it off. And when it's off, this, when this goes off, then this signal will pass through again, and then it'll just keep alternating, just like that. Now, as you can see, this lamp isn't flashing, and the reason for that is because this pulse duration is too short for this thing for the lamp to react. So I'm going to slow things down by clicking on the repeater here. And now that I've done that, as you can see, it's, it's flashing. You can make the duration of the flash a little shorter by clicking here. And if you want to make it even longer of a duration, you can just replace that segment with another repeater and just extending the circuit. So now you have additional delay you can put in. Well that's it for the video. If you guys have any comments you can just leave it in the uh, YouTube comments below. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys later.